Hey, this is Trace. In 2004, the Audio-Technica company introduced its AT2020. It was their entry-level, small diaphragm site address condenser microphone. And it has been one of the best rated and best selling microphones in its class ever since. 15 years later, the Blue Microphone Company released its Ember microphone. Both are small diaphragm XLR side address condenser microphones with all metal enclosures, no switches, and regularly sell for $99. In this video, we're going to listen to some sound samples recorded with both microphones simultaneously and calibrated to as close to each other as possible, so we can see how the new microphone compares to the legend. I'll see you back here in a few minutes. During setup, the first thing I noticed was how high I had to adjust the gain on my mixer for the AT2020 to match that of the Blue Ember. This is a microphone comparison between the Audio-Technica AT2020 and the new Blue Microphone's Ember small diaphragm side address condenser microphones. This is a microphone comparison between the Audio-Technica AT2020 and the new Blue Microphone's Ember small diaphragm side address condenser microphones. All right, first I just got to say, both of these microphones made excellent recordings of a variety of instruments and my voice. The new microphone, this one, recorded the samples with as good a quality and depending on your taste, maybe even slightly better than the AT microphone. Until we got to the triple chime. That's where the AT2020's slightly better diaphragm came into play. As you can see in these two waveforms, the AT2020 handled higher frequencies much better than the Blue Ember. Okay, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. In my opinion, these are the best two $99 microphones I've ever heard. Both handled my voice and a variety of instruments just fine. Either of these will make an excellent beginner microphone or project studio microphone. 
for my applications, I can't see recording something in such a high frequency that this microphone couldn't handle it. As far as quality is concerned, I have no complaints. The only complaint I do have is, for some reason, Blue Microphones likes this thumb turn uh, screw for their mic clips. With this type of screw, sometimes it takes some effort to get it tight enough to hold a microphone in place. Other than that, it's a beautiful microphone and definitely a contender for the AT2020. That's all I got. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.